ponies and 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 ponies. Do you enjoy gym matching games and ponies? Well, the game Pony vs. Pony Battle is Magic combines the two, making it so you can have a pony all of your own, customizing his or her look as much as you like, and fighting against other ponies. Pony vs. Pony Battle is Magic was released in 2011 by Artix Entertainment. Inspired by the growing popularity of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Starting off, you must create an account, then create your pony, be it a girl or a boy. You may only have one pony per account, but if you really want to, you can make multiple accounts to make you feel like you're raising a herd of ponies. Once in, you will have the option to color your pony's body, hair, and eye color with a limited selection. The ponies can't be manually named, only by picking three parts of a name out of three lists, or randomly with a press of a button. Basically, click until they give you a name that you can enjoy. The only thing you will have control over is your online nickname. If you're looking for a story for this game, there isn't one. If you want some reasoning to this Flash game, then you'll have to make one up. The game consists of your pony fighting other ponies that you choose by matching gyms together. What's nice about the gameplay is there isn't much to it. You connect similar colored gyms together, four or more, horizontally or vertically, and you shall most likely win. It's super easy to win because there's rarely a time when there isn't a long stretch of gyms. Basically, you click drag and release when you have a string of four or more. Once you start to get more than four, a counter over your mouse will keep track of how many past four you have collected. When all usable gems are used, the page will refresh with a new set of gems, with no noticeable punishment. Some of these gems will have two times marks within them, meaning that they are equal to twice the amount of effectiveness. The more gems collected, the more effective the gems' properties will be. There are three types of gems, red butterflies, blue candies, and yellow looking sunshines. The butterflies are your defensive wall. The more you collect, the better your defense. You can check the number of your butterflies at any time during the match under your pony. The yellow looking sunshines are collected to make your pony attack. The more collected in a row will result in a bigger attack. And the blue candies are collected to make your magi pet use magic. I shall talk more about magi pets a little later. When playing, I found myself focusing solely upon the collection of these gems until suddenly I had won the round. This continued to happen, giving me the feeling that thinking too much wasn't part of the plan. After I had the core concept of color collection, everything else didn't matter. It wasn't like losing held a high price and losing was so infrequent it didn't matter. Since this is a battle game, you must get rid of your opponent's health points before you lose yours. If you lose, you will have three options. Continue to the main menu, rematch the same pony, or see the tutorial. If you win, you shall gain a higher cupcake level, which is basically your ranking. The more you win, the higher your cupcake level, and if you lose, your, your cupcakes will decrease. You'll gain experience points from battles to level up and face higher level ponies and bosses. The bosses are in place so that when you want to level up, you have to face them first. They're nothing special, they are basically like any other pony that you face, and there are 19 of them. Winning will also give you Sparkle Gems, which are basically the game's currency. You can only gain Sparkle Gems from battles if you have enough Sparkle Gem battles. At first, when you start the game, you will have 50 Gem battles, but after that is exhausted, you will not be able to gain Sparkle Gems from battles until the next day, when your Battle Gems will be refilled by a small amount. If you lose a battle, you won't use your Battle Gems. Basically, this is the game's way of getting you to come back so you can gain more Gems, so that you can spend them. On what, you may ask? Well, this is what the shop is for. The shop is where you can spend those hard-earned sparkle gems on useless cosmetic crap and magi pets. The things that you can buy here will be equipable on the My Pony page, where you can customize your pony whenever you want. On the level 1 tier of the shop, it is called Pony Shop. Everything here is free, from horns to hair to magi pets and clothes. The magi pets will have different statistics, but most will have some of the same, so that you can choose the one that you like the look of the most. When you equip multiple magi pets, they will switch out with each other every few uses. As you gain levels, more shops will open with a variety of new pets and cosmetic looks. The higher the level shop, the higher the price. And this is where we get into the dirty, annoying side of these type of browser games. If you figure that so many battles each day for how many days is going to get you one piece of a set of clothing, and you figure that it isn't worth the time and slash or you just want the set now, there's an option, a crappy option, but it is there. Under your pony, on the main page, in the shops, or in the My Pony page, you can click the Get More Sparkle Gems button. 
This will give you 50,000 Sparkle Gems, plus 100 Sparkle Gem battles per day, and will allow you access to the special Mustangs Only Shop. They also claim that they will have an adventure mode coming soon. All this can be yours for the grand total of $9.95! Think of all the great games that you can get for $9.95. Hell, going on Steam right now, I can find several games on sale for less than $10. The Binding of Isaac, Psychonauts, Cave Story, Audio Sir, Limbo, Hotline Miami, Terraria, FTL, Mountain Blade Warband, and the list goes on. My point being, there are so many more great games out there that are far better uses for your money. I will never get why some people put their money into these cheap browser games. Under the Add Friends section, you can add friends to make their own ponies and battle them. By giving your friend code to someone or you taking theirs, you can add them to your list. This didn't work for me when I tried, but it might be a fluke. The visuals are simple, bright, and cheery, and the presentation is well done. There isn't much in the way of animations because most of your attention will be focused on the gems, but there is enough to make it feel like the ponies are actually doing something. There are some graphical issues at times, like when choosing a pony to fight, or if choosing multiple magi pets, some will be hidden slightly behind others. Unlike the opening music, which is entertaining because it is so bad, the music within the game is boring and feels like standard placeholder music. It is best to turn off the music when you have a chance and listen to some of your own. The option to do so is in the top right corner of the screen, along with the option to turn off sound effects, which are also standardized. Giggles, piano key hits, sparkles, and a few more just fill blank. Pony vs. Pony Battle is Magic is a mediocre attempt at cashing in on the My Little Pony craze. If not for the amazingly stupid and ridiculous opening theme, this Flash game would not have gotten as much attention as it did when it first was released. It takes the color matching gameplay from other games in the genre and makes it extremely simple and basically mindless. The only people that I can see that would want to play this game are people who really like ponies and slash or want an inferior gym matching game to Bejeweled or so many other puzzle-ish games. Pony vs Pony Battles Magic can be played on the Arctix website. The link will be included in the description. Thanks for watching. Any feedback on this video or any of my other videos would be appreciated. If you want to get in contact with me, message me on YouTube or Twitter. And if you want to see any of my other work, click the links provided.